Welcome back to another LOHS TV game day broadcast. I'm Miss Grable, and this is Ryan. And we have the senior men's basketball team here tonight at Osborne, where the Legends are hosting the Ross Shep Thunderbirds. Uh, this is the first game for both teams in the ability round. Um, in the ability round, there are two pools of four teams. Each team plays three games, and the top two in each pool move on to Div 1, while the other four teams will go into Div 2. What do you see for uh, starting lineups here? Well, right off the bat there, that looks like it's number four from the Shep Thunderbirds. That's Nyongabu. Uh, sorry, Nyongabu. Uh, that would be getting the bucket off early for the uh, T-Birds. There's Mia with the ball now. He'll drive to the basket. Good lay there. Great start there for the, the Legends. I know a lot of our offense is going to run through Mia this year. Yep, Dunkley there pushing up the court. and Kim with a nice knock down there yeah, to get the seal for the Legends. Mia now. Screen there from Kin. Mia will kick out to Dollywell. Dollywell driving inside. And traveling the call on Dollywell there. So this is uh, Osborne's fifth game of the season. They got four on the weekend at our tournament. And this is, I believe, Shep's first time on the floor. I'm not sure if they played any exhibition before tonight. Like we have a foul call going against Ryder Brown of the Legends. That's Ryder's first, the team's first of the quarter. Ryan, did you know I'm a Ross Shep T-Bird alumni? Really? I am, <laughs> so it's, uh, it's always been a little tough uh, loyalty thing when I have to coach <laughs> or cheer against the Thunderbirds. It's been a long time though, I graduated a while ago. <laughs> Drive there and Niangabu gets it to go, and there's going to be a foul call as well. That foul's going against number four. That's Mo Ali. That's his first, the team's second, and Niangabu's going to head to the line to go for a three-point play. This is a tough make there. Subs checking in. Jack Berry coming into the game for the Legends. Niangabu will have one three free throw. That one is good. So five to two right now for the T-Birds. All five points scored by Nyangabu. Barry with the ball up the court. And so just adjusting the score clock here. Didn't start on the inbounds. All right, here we go. Barry's in the inbound. Mia. Trying to stay in the front court, a steal by Bartlett and an easy lay there. Brown with the ball. He will find Kim kicking out to Dollywall. Dollywall with the drive. Trying to find Kim in the paint. He's blocked there. Dunkley with the ball now. So that number two, Dunkley, he is the son of um, uh, one of the coaches on the Shep Thunderbirds, Ryan Dunkley, former University of Alberta Golden Bear oh. basketball player. It's like checked out of bounds. It will be Legends ball. Barry here inbounding. It'll be Barry with the ball up the court. We'll find Dollywall. Dollywall to Mia. And... They're calling an offensive foul there on Taryn Dollowall. So I didn't think he made, must have not thought he got set. Trying to set a screen there. The inbound from the sideline. I think it's Froberg inbounding there? Yep. Into Dunkley. Froberg up top. Finds Bartlett. He'll swing. Good movement here, but. Traveling the call there. Looks like he just took one extra step, step there uh, before he dribbled. So inbounding ball, Taryn Dollowall. He is the third of the Dollowall boys to play here at Osborne. So older brothers Jaden and Arjun both played all three years at Osborne basketball. Barry now. Across to Dollywall. Dollywall the drive. He kicks to Kim. Kim just missing the reverse there. Dunkley into the corner. That's Nyangabu. Bartlett now up top. Pull up jumper. That one's short. 
Rebounded by Brown. Turnover and a big block there for Mia. Has great hands there for Mia, just going straight up. Mia, spin. So he's fouled on his way up, so would have counted if it had gone, but it didn't. So that foul's going to go against number 11 of the T-Birds. That's Carson Bartlett. That'll be his first and the T-Birds' first of the quarter. Mia shot very well from the line over the weekend at the tournament, so let's see if he can continue that tonight. There we go. At least I didn't jinx that one there, right? <laughs> yep, that first one there's good. So on the floor right now for the Legends is Barry, Dollowell, Mia, Brown, and Kim. The basket's good. I'm not sure what the whistle was for there. Not sure. Maybe it might have yeah. been a uh, lane violation against the T-Birds. I'm not really sure. But Mia goes two for two from the line. Dunk Lee to Nyangabu. Pass picked off by Brown. Brown trying to find Barry. That one in turn picked off by Dunkley. I think Brown just got to settle down. It's a couple there that he's kind of panicked a little bit when he gets possession of the ball. A three there missed by the T-Birds. Barry now driving. He'll put up a shot. No rim on that one and a no foul call there. So it's going to be 15 seconds left on the shot clock for the Legends to shoot as they inbound in the front court. Brown inbounding here. He will try to find Mia. Checked out by the T-Birds though, so it'll stay Legends ball. Brown still here to inbound. Trying to find Mia again, this one. Again, I think the T-Birds got a tough fingertip on that one, so yeah. they'll try again this time from the sideline instead <laughs> of the baseline. And there, long pass oh, end. That did not look good. Mia came down pretty hard on his shoulder there, jumping for that inbound ball. Oh, good to see Mia get up on his own. Not sure what they're gonna call there. Big foul All right, there. So it is, yeah. They're gonna call a foul here against the T-Birds. So that foul's going against number 11 of the T-Birds. That's Carson Bartlett. That's going to be his second and the team's second of the quarter. So they did call the foul, kind of them un undercutting Mia on that uh, loose ball there out of the inbounds. Checking in for the Legends looks like is number 11, Michael LaFrancois. Legends here struggling a bit to get a clean inbound. And <laughs> Again, checked out. Buzz for subs, M. Subs checking in for the T-Birds. That's number nine, Kyan Trapp, checking in. And they look, they're changing it up. Barry's going to inbound now. Looks like there Tiber's drop back in that 2-3 zone there now. Dolly Wall, drive. Can't get a clean shot off, but Kim the rebound, and he's able to finish. Good job on the offensive glass there by Kim and getting the put back. Dunkley. Pass there to Trap. Trap up top, Nyangabu. Dunkley, a long three, and it's good. That one there from well beyond the arc. Barry now, quickly up the floor. He'll find Dollywall. Dollywall to Brown. Brown. Slightly lost control there, but he'll find Barry in the corner, and his three is good. That's great to see Barry get off to an early start. He was a little bit cold from outside the arc over the weekend, so it's great to see him hit one early. Quick pass inside there, Nyangabo. Out to Trap. Trap trying to drive baseline, and... That's good defense there by LeFrancois. He forces the T-Birds to step out of bounds on the baseline. Uh, Mo Ali checking back into the game, taking out Ryder Brown. Barry finds Dollywall and he'll give it back to Barry. Barry to Ali in the corner. Ali up to LeFrancois, he'll swing to Barry. Barry another three, so I'm just missing. Dunkley up the court. Barry Nearly just about had this, yeah. yeah, just what had the steal there. Another three here from Dunkley. Looks like we got a loose ball foul there under the basket. So they're calling that foul. Blue 10 
That's going to go against Malachi Moore. That's going to be his first. The team's third. And Mikhail Mia checking back in. And I believe we've got Cy Fisher, Fisher also checking into the game. Cy would be the only grade 10 on our senior roster this year. So great job for Cy making this team. Dollywell here. Take the ball up to court. Traveling right. the call goes against LaFrancois. Maybe Froberg to inbound there, yeah, for the T-Birds. Dunk lead the ball up the court. He'll swing. Now Froberg, younger ball up top for three. The board there. A good effort there from Ali. Yeah, I'm not sure who that was going to go off of, so as yeah. Ali uh, made the effort to keep it in bounds. I don't know if we were the last ones to touch it or not, but like you said, great effort there to try and keep it in play. Dunk through the ball. T-Bird swing, a three. Board picked up by Ali. Ali driving in. A lay high off the glass, that one's good. Great take there by Muhammad Ali. I like saying that name all season. We get to say Muhammad Ali. <laughs> yeah. Young Obo the ball. He will drive and kick. And they're going to call Ali on the foul there. He, yeah, referee's warning him to keep his mouth shut after a foul call. That whether he <laughs> agrees or disagrees, you don't want to get teed up at that point. That's going to be Ali's second, though. It's going to be the fourth for the Legends. Ali second. Dunkley here to inbound. Good touch there by Fisher. He knocks it back out of bounds. I'm trying to find the big man, Bell Rose, there in the paint. Right, yeah, sorry, I missed that on that last foul call there. That was Bell Rose checking in for the uh, sorry, for the T Birds. And oh. Good inbounds play there. Yeah. Easy bucket for Froberg. Dollywall the ball. And good steal there from the T-Birds. Supplying that full court press pressure there. And now a three here from Froberg. Board picked up by LaFrancois. LaFrancois now. Trying to get a shot off. Good board there from Fisher. His take there. Just missing and now so the the other way quickly. Dunkley kicking Nyongabo. His three from the corner is good. That puts the T-Birds up 15-11. Three minutes to go here in the first quarter. Good driving kick there. Ali the ball. Ali finding Dollywell in the corner. He'll put up a three. Board picked up there by Trapp. Tinyanga Bo, he good misses this. Good hustle back by Mia. He was a two on one there by the T Birds, and Mia was able to get a hand in the way to affect that shot, I think. Ali trying to find Fisher. That one picked off. Dunkley now. Trap. Trap again, and now Dunkley up top. Dunkley to Nyanga Bo. In the corner there is Froberg, the three. Word picked up by Ali. He'll run the court. Can't get a shot off, but um, getting his own rebound. Sub checking into the game for Legends is Jack Berry. And in for the T-Birds, we've got Vanderpuy and Gravela. And it looks like Legends are going to call timeout here. So timeout Legends. Some exciting play here um, early in this game. It is, yeah. Like I said, I think uh, I think this might be the first time on the floor for the T-Birds this season. And again, it was a benefit to us to get some playing time over the weekend. So yeah. hopefully that pays off in the long run tonight. Uh, we didn't talk about our coaches or our officials or anything like that, Ryan. So do you want to let us know who's uh, our officials, our scorekeepers, and the whole crew tonight? Yep, yeah, for sure. Um, the referees here tonight are uh, Randy and Kiran. And I'm scorekeepers, Natasha, Emily, and Sophia. 
And also, um, uh, shout out to the live stream team. We have Shariza, Rina, Abby, Ava, and Alex. And as well as all the new recruits here, um, just shadowing and uh, learning how, how, uh, how we live stream here. So um, great to have them here. I saw that. You guys had quite the posse coming in here yeah. with your spiffy new LHST yeah. jackets too, Ryan. You guys look very sharp. Well, they don't have they have no one better to learn from than you, Ryan. You did a fantastic <laughs> job you. commentating last year. So we're uh, fortunate that you chose to come back and do it again this year. Thank you. And a big shout out as always to Mr. Zhang and Mr. Agrodiak. Without yep. them, we would be nowhere. For sure. We well, definitely wouldn't be broadcasting to you in your on your phones and in your living rooms and wherever else you're watching it from <laughs> without those two guys. All right, looks like it's going to be Legends Ball coming in. 222 left to go in the first quarter and LaFrancois is going to inbound. LaFrancois, Dalawal, Mia, Fisher, and Barry are on the floor for the Legends. Calling up top to Barry. Barry driving. Kicks out to Dalawal. Dalawal trying to find Mia in the corner. Nearly picked off there by Nyangabo. Nine on the shot clock here. Going to a different strategy. Mia is the one to inbound now. He can make that long pass cross court to Barry on that one. And they're going to call a foul against the T-Birds. That foul's going against number six of the T-Birds. That's Ivan Gravela. That's going to be his first. That's going to be the team's fourth. Both teams have four team fouls. Next foul on both sides will be bonus for the remainder of the quarter. It's Barry here inbounding to Dollywall. And the foul's going to go there against number nine. That's going to be Kai and Trap. It's going to be his first. It's going to be the fifth, as I mentioned, for the, the uh, T-Birds, which will send Dollywall to the line to shoot two. T-Birds have um, really been doing a good job at pressuring during those inbounds. Um, haven't been allowing a clean pass off. Yeah, I think that might have been the switch, adding putting Mia in as the inbounder, a little, little more height to see over the defenders that are trying to block that pass in for sure. Dollywell's good on the first there. Second there from Dollywell. Rebounded by Mia. Clock guys, clock guys, clock guys. Mia up top to Barry. Barry finds LeFrancois, LeFrancois inside and... Travel the call there, I think so. He moved his yeah. foot before the ball hit the ground on the dribble. I believe that's the second travel call against LaFrancois here tonight. Younger bow to Gravella. Gravella back to Younger bow. And now into the corner there. Vanderpuy. Pass inside. Picked up there by Belrose. They got four on the shot clock. This is good defense here if the Legends can hold them off. That's good defense there, forcing that shot up with only two on the shot clock. Mia will bring the ball up the court here. Nice. Working on Nyangabo there. Would have been nice if that three would have dropped for yeah. him. Yeah. Well, help hustled there, and uh, T-Bird's kept that ball in bounds. t bird's swinging there, a three from the corner. Rebounded by Belrose. Nice save there by, oh, it's dangerous save by LaFrancois, though. It's tough when you save those underneath your own basket. Very now. Mia puts up a shot, now and long. And now it's Gravella, the ball up the court. Gravella there finding Vanderpuy. Back up to Gravella. And now a three there from Trap. I think that's going to go out of bounds off the rebound. We're going to have subs checking in for the T Birds. We've got number two, Kai Dunkley, coming back into the game, as well as number 12, Thomas Froberg. I think that might be the first break that they've given Nyangabo tonight. Yeah. Dolly on the ball. t birds here easing on that full court press. Mary driving, kicks out to Dolly Wall. Travel and again, yeah. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what they're calling. Yeah, I was going to say, there's the warning coming from the officials to uh, stop the complaining from the uh, legends that are disagreeing with some of the calls that are being made. Again, I think what the call on the bloody travels is I think that the ball's not hitting the ground on the dribble before they're lifting that foot. Yeah, uh, both teams are definitely going to want to watch that tonight. 
was a three second differential shot clock game clock. That bucket goes for Gravella. Good take there. Dolly with the ball up the court to Mia now. He's got six Mia on the kicks ball. out LaFrancois on a three. They call the charge. They call the charge on Mikhail Mia. It's going to be Mia's first. It'll be the team's fifth, but they don't shoot bonus on uh, offensive fouls. 5.8 on the shot, sorry, on the game clock to end the quarter. Dunkley here. M, 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 Trying to get a last shot off. Dunkley into the corner. A three there, blocked. Yeah, good hand by LaFrancois. That was yep. a great touch by my, uh, my Michael LaFrancois. All right, two minute break here at the quarter switch. So I got a little story for you, Ryan, about the coaching staff on both sides. So on the Legends side, all of our coaches are Legends alumni. Oh, wow, really? So our head coach is Ishmael Kedri. So Ish graduated in 2017 from the uh, from our program. Uh, Josh White is also coaching with him, and Josh was on the same teams with Ishmael. And I believe Conrad Gangenbach also on the bench. He graduated year yep. before. He actually has never played basketball oh. um, at uh -huh. the high school level, but he was also our senior men's volleyball coach. And then we've got Bruno Cordero doing some coaching and some stats, and Bruno also was a uh, Legends alumni. Oh, yeah, it's great to see Legends alumni uh, coming back to help the teams out. It is. It's wonderful. And then the coaching staff on the Shep side. So this is where my little uh, bias comes in as I went to Shep, as I mentioned. I'm a T-Bird alumni. So there, Dave Youngs, who's standing right in front of us right now, was yeah. kind of my mentor when I was back <laughs> at Shep. Uh, when you know kids joke about who hangs out in my office during <laughs> the day, that was me in the <laughs> phys ed office over at Shep on numerous years. I was a manager for the Shep senior men for I think five years, so I spent wow. a lot of time with uh, Dave Youngs. My pitcher from graduation is still up oh. on his bulletin board. <laughs> and then uh, Ryan Dunkley, one of their coaches, as I mentioned earlier, whose son is number two for yeah. the T-Birds. Ryan went to U of A at the same time I did. He played for the Bears, and he is a teacher at Shep. He was at Lizard prior to that. I'm not sure where else he taught, but, yeah, a little story about some of the coaching staff <laughs> on both sides of the ball. Oh, it's great to hear. And I think Josh is up there uh, touch, just touching base with the refs as to what kind of that travel call I think that the guys are seem to be getting frustrated about what's being called. Yeah, well, uh, I think that call, that call can definitely go both ways. It's, it could, it's but their, their arguing is never going to change what the referees yeah. call. They, they, yeah. don't, they haven't figured yeah. that out yet, Ryan. All right, to begin the second quarter here, we've got a 17-12 lead for the T-Birds. It was a one point, I think it was a 13-12 game at one point. And then the uh, T-Birds scored a few to end the quarter. And I believe it's going to be Legends Ball coming in to start the quarter. Yep, that's uh, Barry inbounding. So we got Barry, Ali, Kim, LaFrancois, and Mia on the floor for the Legends. And for the T-Birds, we've got Gravella, Belrose, Vanderpuy, who else is out there? Froberg, and Dunkley. LaFrancois on the ball. Out to Mia. Mia driving. Now it's to Barry. Ali now. Ali dropping it off to Barry. Barry drives. Puts up a shot. Rebound picked up by Bell Rose. He'll hand it off to Gravella. Another Gravella. Osborne alumni in the stands there. Jepte Messina just walking in. So great to see them coming back to support the boys. Barry, great steal, can't get the lay-in to go, but great follow by LaFrancois as he gets the board and the putback. Gravella the ball. Find Dunkley. Dunkley now inside the bell rose. Good defense there by Kim and LaFrancois. LaFrancois, a Euro. That shot missing, and it'll be Dunkley the other way. Dunkley up top. It's Froberg handing it off to Gravella. That foul is going to go against number six of the T-Birds. Offensive foul there goes against uh, Gravella. That's going to be his second and the team's first of the quarter. Checking back in for the T-Birds. That's number 11, Bartlett, as well as Nyangabo back on the floor. Ali quickly into LeFrancois and he'll hand it back to Ali. Ali, hanging off to LaFrancois. He'll drive, put up a shot. Rebounded by Nyangabo. 
Quickly up there to Bartlett. Last touch there by the T-Bird, so it will be Legends ball. I leave the ball. Ali to Mia. Mia back to Ali. He'll drive. Well, was looking for Mac Kim there, I think, but Bellrose got a hand in that passing lane, and Ali didn't want to get called for the travel going up and down, so he had to get yeah. rid of it before he landed. And three there from Nyangobo. That one missed, but rebounded by the T-Birds. And that three there from Froberg is good. Those second chance points hurt when they get that offensive board, especially when they can kick it out and hit a three. Ali here. Running the play to Mia. Mia dropping it off to Barry. Barry inside to Kim. That's a beautiful pass by Barry to find Kim inside. Yep, a great play there from the Legends. Dunkley now. Dunkley a three. Good fight there by them. the boards. LaFrancois tips it to Ali. Ali now with the ball. to LeFrancois. Mia now up top. Again Mia finding inside. Kim, that's yeah. another great pass inside. Kim with the hands and the finish. That's great work there by Mac. That brings the Legends back to within two, Ryan. So 20 to 18. Into the corner there, a three put up. I believe there by Bartlett. I think they're pretty sure they're gonna call the push in the back there on Nyangabu. Pushing, yep, 100%. They called the push in the back there against Nyangabu. That's his first, their second of the quarter on that loose ball, keeping, I think it was Ali or Barry, I'm not sure who he got there to keep them off the boards. Great call by the officials. And I don't say that because I'm biased. <laughs> <laughs> Barry to LaFrancois, and now Mia. Barry in the corner, he'll drive. Out to LaFrancois, kicking out to Barry, and now Mia. Mia inside. Gets it to go. Great play there by Mia. Good job not taking the charge. The Shep uh, defender stepped right in there, hoping to take the charge. Tie game, 2020, Ryan. Dunkley now into the corner. Now it's Bartlett. Bartlett drives. Good hand there by Kim. Barry putting up a floater. It's good. Timeout called T-Bird, so good run there by the Legends. Great job to get themselves back in the game and are currently up two. All right, Ryan, what's going on around the school these days? Um, so, last night our curling team, skipped by Emily H, uh, won their game 3-2, to two, while our team, skipped by Sam F, uh, tied 3-3. Three, three. And did you know that this is the first time we've had a curling team at Osborne and probably... Maybe six years, I think. There was. Oh, wow. We had uh, a team, maybe my first two here, and then we kind of went on a hiatus without a curling team, and uh, we had a couple of kids, Noah um, and Mason Wood being one of the main ones who really pushed. He's a provincial-level curler oh. and really wanted us to bring curling back, and uh, we had the interest from some other kids, so we're running curling this year, Ryan. Yeah, well, great to see interest in, uh, in a curling team here. Yeah, and also in action tonight, our indoor soccer team, they're facing off with Skona. I don't know the score yet. It should be over in the next couple minutes, so we'll be interested to see. They tied Emmy Lizard last week 2-2 in their season opener. They were out to a 2-0 lead and unfortunately couldn't hold on in that mm. one, but uh, we always like to bring home the wins against uh, Skona, so we'll see, yeah. we'll see what happens tonight. Yeah. And after this game, what do we got going on? Um, so we have an exhibition game where our junior men uh, will play against Emmy Lazer at 6.30. You got it. The junior men do not have to play in an ability round. So yeah. they are guaranteed their spot in Div 1. There were not more than 12 teams that wanted junior men Div 1. So there was no <laughs> ability round required. All right. It looks like we've got inbounds here from Froberg as it will be T-Bird's ball coming out of that timeout. Legend's on a good run here and that was what caused the T-Bird's to call the timeout. Dunkley to Nyangabo. Now Dunkley into the corner. The ball movement here and a three put up by Dunkley. Good fight on the rebounds there by Barry, Kim and Ali. It looks like Ali tried to keep it in bounds there. We're trying to check it off a T-Bird but unsuccessful. So it will be Shep ball. It's gonna be Dunkley to inbound guarded by LaFrancois. Dunkley 
Trying to find an open man. We'll find Trap back to Dunkley, an open three, and it's good. A little miscommunication there off that inbounds play. Dunkley inbounded the ball, and nobody guarded him as he stepped back on the floor, so he's open for that look for the three. Ali to Mia. Good switch there. And, and they're going to call the block there on Mac Kim. It's a tough call there. It could have gone either way, I think. I think uh, number looks like in the battle of number nines there, that was Trap <laughs> and Kim both fighting for position there. It was Kim's first and the Legends first of the quarter. Barry to Ali. Good, good job there to stay in the front court. Barry trying to find Ali all the way across. That one picked off. The other way. They're going to call the foul on Mia there. That foul is going to go in against Mikhail Mia. That's going to be his second. It's going to be the team's second of the quarter. And I think that's going to send Moore to the line to shoot for the T-Birds. Yeah, you took a hard fall there, but uh, looks like he's okay. There's free throw there from Moore. Will not go. Mia, Ali, and Kim going to try and crash the boards here for the Legends. No rebound, though, as Moore's good on his second. Ali with the ball up the court. Into the corner for LaFrancois. Missing that there, but Kim with the rebound. Great bucket there by Kim. There. That was great work. Hard work rewarded on the offensive glass, and Kim gets that bucket to fall. That was a beautiful play by Matt Kim. That gives Kim eight. He's the leading scorer right now for the Legends. And another travel call there. Yeah, they're being consistent on that yeah, call both sides. So, sure. I mean, as uh, much as these guys want to argue, they are calling the same thing both ways. Ali now. And in the corner to Mia. Mia. Did that hit the bottom of the backboard? I as think he was so, yeah. He trying to go across the left front. So I think it might have caught the bottom of the backboard. Nyong'o ball. To Dunkley. A three there from Froberg. Good board there from Moore. We're going to have a foul call. I'm not sure who they're going to give this one to. We'll see. It was on the boards. That's going to go against Matt Kim. That's going to be his second. That's going to be the team's third of the quarter. And it's going to send Moore back to the line. He went one for two the last time he was at the line. Yeah. And he hits no. the first this time. Last time he hit the back end of the two, so we'll see. If, uh, if it holds true, let's hope he misses this one. I'm not, <laughs> to, I'm not supposed to say that, am I? It is more on the line to shoot. Oh, that's good. It goes two for two on this round. It is a two-point T-Birds lead. Ali to Mia. Mia swing to Barry. He'll put up a three. Yes, Sounds Jack good. Barry. Great spot for Barry to hit the three. That gives Barry eight, so that ties him, I think, with Kim as the leading scorer for the Legends in the first half. Nyongabo inside there to Moore. Good fight there. Jump ball called there between Moore and Kim. Mo Ali there. We had Kind of reinforcing Mac for yeah. another good job, well done, hanging on there. Officials talking, I think, to Moore, just giving him a little, and it looks like he's warning the uh, T-Birds bench as well. Don't forget to inbound. You'll find Nyongabo. Nyongabo to Dunkley. Dunkley driving. Good defense out. there by Ali. They gotta get a shot off here. We'll see if it hits, and, and they hit over, the, a yeah. deep two. That's only a two, but a deep two at the buck. Uh, sorry, at the um, buzzer for the shot clock. Ali with the ball. That's tough. Those de tough, great defense by the Legends for 23 seconds, yeah. and have that one go with the <laughs> second left. Barry to Mia. Mia drives baseline, kicking out there. 
think he was tiptoeing to stay off the baseline there to keep that pass. Great strip there by Barry. It'll stay T-Bird's ball. A little confusion with the score here. I have 28 for Shep. I got 20. Just double checking what the score is. Referees wanted to make sure we were right, and it looks like it's all good. 28 27. A three there from Nyangabo. Rebounded by Mia. Mia. Ali to Mia. Mia to LeFrancois now in the corner. Go all the way up top. The legend swinging there. They got nine on the shot clock here. Barry to Ali. Ali to LeFrancois. LeFrancois to take that one. And that one will be a shot clock violation. LeFrancois' attempt there didn't get to the rim, so good defense there by the T-Birds to hold the legends. It's Dunkley. That's uh, Trap up top to Nyangabo. Good hand Good hands, there by yeah. Mia and LeFrancois. There's and Mia, the flush. Dunk. Mikhail Mia, he had a few of those on the weekend. I think we're gonna get used to seeing that a lot this season. The corner there. Great steal by Barry. Yep, good anticipation. Good job by Barry slowing things down. It was kind of a one on four. He, Ali tries to take that to the hoop. Uh, might have been a travel call there, but nothing. Ali can't afford a foul from behind there. He's already playing yeah. the two. Mia Another pick right by Mia. Back. Oh, <laughs> tough on that one. Might have might have been smarter to go on the layup on that one. Yeah. You think with some pressure from behind him? It's not as pretty, right? Yeah. Although when it goes in, it's prettier, regardless. <laughs> Almost another steal there for Mia. Some real active hands by the Legends defenders right now, getting in a lot of those passing lanes, getting some hands on things. Buried the ball up the court. Not to Ali. Ali to Mia. Mia driving, kicks out. Six on the shot clock. Ali. Nice Good move there, there by Al. Oh, but can't get it to go. Nyangabo. Mia flying in to get there, a hand yeah. there. Dunkley. And it maybe <laughs> did enough. <laughs> Good fight there, another jump ball there. LaFrancois and Kim both in there. And it's gonna be subs checking back in for the T-Birds. That's gonna be number 11, Bartlett and Ryder Brown checking back into Legends. And it's gonna be Coach Kedry calling a timeout for the Legends here with 1.22 left to go in the first half. And it is a one point Legends lead, 29-28. Ryan, it's been a great first half. Yeah, for sure. Um, great to see a dunk there from Mia. Yeah, I'd love to see that. You know he's gonna want the second one back. <laughs> He's going to watch that back and listen to us talk about him. <laughs> no, I think uh, I think we're going to see that a lot from Mia this year. I know LaFrancois can get up there too, so yeah. we might see if uh, we get LaFrancois and, uh, with a clear lane too. That'll be a, a nice, nice pleasure to watch. All right, so what else we got going on? Let's see. You said you got some uh, recruits shadowing you guys today. Yep. Um, I think we, I believe we made the team about like a, a week, a week and a half ago, and um, I think this is the first time we're all meeting together, so... Uh, great to see some new faces on the team. That's awesome. Yeah, we had a bit, a little bit of a, lead, or a little bit of hiatus with some uh, volleyball season ending and no yeah. basketball yeah, streams. Yeah. So we had about uh, almost a month, I think, where yeah. uh, Mr. Grodiak, Mr. Zhang, and I actually got to go home. I uh, know I never went home after <laughs> school, but I'll lie. Pretend, pretend I went home after school, but uh, not here quite as late. So, and uh, I know we mentioned that uh, we had a few Legends alumni in the stands. I can also see we got Zaffer Kedry, so Isha's younger brother. Zaffer played for us for three years as well. Safi Shirazi is across from us too. He's also coaching our junior men. He's another one of our alumni. So like I said, it's uh, fantastic to see how many of our alumni are coming back to be a part of the programs here. Yeah. Says a lot about, uh, I think, what we offer um, and the family and the that kind of community that we create within yeah. our athletics program and basketball specifically. It will be Legends ball here off the timeout. We got J uh, Jack Berry, Muhammad Ali, Michael LaFrancois, Ryder Brown, and Matt Kim on the floor for the Legends with a minute 20 to go till the half. T-Birds here. 
Using a full court press, a spin there from Barry. That was pretty. Ah, oh, Jack Barry, that was nice. Coast to coast there pretty much from Barry, I think. Here we go, Brown on to play some tough defense here. He's got Dunkley there. In the corner, Nyangabo, not Dunkley. Good help there from Kim. Dunkley in the corner, wide open Bartlett. That three won't go, but an offensive board there from the T-Birds. Baseline drive there and a kick. Bartlett now, top to Dunkley. Good pump fake, he'll put up a floater. Hometown uh, roll, I'm gonna call that one. Yeah. Uh, benefit of playing on your home court. So we got 24 on the shot clock and 33 seconds on the half. Dunkley to inbound for the T-Birds. Sorry, I lied. 14 on the shot clock. The offensive out-of-bounds reset goes to 14, not 24. That's another nice inbounds play yeah. drawn up by those T-Bird coaches. Malachi Moore gets that bucket off that inbounds play. Very quickly up the floor. Four-second differential, shot no. clock to game clock. A little miscommunication there. Barry was looking for Kim, overshot him a little bit. There you go, handshake though, they're all good. Yeah. Timeout, so. T-Birds. So we have a five second shot differential shot clock to game clock, 19.3 to the half and 14 for Shep to shoot. Yeah. I just got a message, it sounds like our indoor soccer team didn't pull it out tonight. It sounds like they were defeated for nothing, unfortunately tonight by Skona. So I haven't heard, uh, I don't know all the details yet, but it doesn't sound like it might've been their best effort mm. of the season. Yeah. All right, what do we got going on here? It is the end of December, or sorry, end of November. We're starting yeah. December tomorrow, Ryan. It's hard to believe. Christmas, 25, 26 days away. I have 25 after today, I guess, right? Yeah. Well, I guess a little rough stretch for students, though. I think it's like three or four straight five-day weeks. So. I think it's five five-day weeks, and yeah. we haven't had them for quite a while. So, yeah, it'll be five five-day weeks to finish off uh, this semester. But, uh, you know what, these are the years I like. We teach, well, you guys go to classes, but we teach yeah. until the 23rd, which means January. Oh, we don't yeah. come back till the 9th. So that makes January a lot shorter. Last yeah. year, I felt like January was the longest month of the year when we came <laughs> back on, I think it was like the third. Yeah. You done all your Christmas shopping? Nope. Started it? Ah, uh, no. Nope. Me neither. <laughs> I'll be that person in the mall on the 24th. Yeah. <laughs> like 9 a.m., West Ed opens, I'll get all my shopping done Christmas <laughs> Eve. All right, it looks like coming out of the timeout, again, it's gonna be T-Bird ball on the offensive court. And it looks like we're going to have Nyangabo to inbound. See Dunkley. what the coach Dunkley and Youngs drew up in that timeout there. Good D there by Brown, putting a lot of pressure there on Dunkley. Great D. Yeah. Barry comes up too. Barry and Ali there on the switch. They got to get a shot off. They do. It's gonna. I think they're going to get shot clock violation. Legends defense. Great job, Legends there on the defense. No, 2.8 seconds here to get a shot off. I think they're going to put a couple seconds back up. Should be 3.3, 3 .3, 3 .3, I think. 3 .3. When, the, when the buzzer went off on the shot clock, there should be 3.3 .3 on the clock. Oh. Works for me. We're doing some math, trying to figure out what should be on the game clock when the yeah. shot clock went out. So they, uh, good thing they called a the timeout there. The refs knew 19.8 yeah. was on the clock, 14 second shot clock. So Harry they had 5.8 on the clock. Harry picks up that inbound there. Want to see if he can get it off. Nice move. No. Good. And I think they were going to say no. They just say they didn't release prior to the buzzer there. So. Oh, well, good pressure there from Nyangabo to uh, force a tough shot. You got from it, Barry. So. For sure, if it was uh, yeah, it would have been nice to hit that at the buzzer. But yeah. either way, it is a Legends one-point lead as they head into the halftime break. So I believe we have a 10-minute break here, and we're going to sign yep. out. And I think you're taking off, right? Yeah, I will be. Well, maybe I'll see you on Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. All right.
one, Legends versus Thunderbirds. It is a 31-30 Legends lead coming out of the half here. Um, and I have a new commentator with me, Muskan. You're replacing Ryan for the second yeah, half here. Yeah, I am. Well, welcome back. I haven't done any uh, games with you yet this year. I didn't actually do any volleyball games this year, so I haven't been behind the mic for a while. How do you feel? <laughs> It's like riding a bike. You just remember how to do it. Yeah. It's easy. It's fun. All right. Teams are going to change directions. So they're shooting at the baskets opposite their bench, which is actually new this year. You used to do it the opposite way. You used to shoot away from your bench to start and towards your bench to finish. And shot clock is not running because Soph pressed the button and she shouldn't have. All right. Here we go. So they're going to have to change the shot clock, take nine seconds off the shot clock, and it will be a Legends ball. Sorry. Uh, yeah. It will stay. No, sorry. So it'll stay Thunderbird ball. So it looks like we're going to have an inbounds play. They're going to send over there. That's going to be Froberg to inbound for the T-Birds. On the floor right now for Legends is Mia, Dollawal, Kim, Ali, and Brown. Nyangabo get, can't get the reverse to go there. Kim with the layup. Sorry, Kim with the rebound. Gets it to Ali. Ali pushes the floor, finds Dollawal. Dollawal working. Dunkley's working. Dollawal there. Dollawal goes to the rim, gets the rebound, though. Kim can't bring it down. That's brought down there by Moore. Brought up the four by Dunkley. Dunkley headmans it up there, and that's Froberg. Three is long. Ali pulls down the rebound. He pushes the floor with some pace. Finds Brown in the corner there. Brown drives to the hoop. Kicks outside to Dollawal. Dollawal dribbles to the top of the key. Finds Brown. Brown looks to drive. Finds Kim. That's another bucket there by Matt Kim. That gives him 10. First player, I think, in double digits this game. Some great dishes by the Legends guards to Kim underneath. Dunkley bringing the ball up. He's guarded there by Dollowell. On the side, that's Moore. We're going to have a foul called here against the Legends. That foul's going to go as number nine. That's going to go against Matt Kim. And I want to correct, earlier in the game, I gave a foul to Matt Kim that actually went against number nine of the T-Birds. It was Kyan Trapp that was called earlier in the game on a foul that I thought was Kim. So that actually is only Kim's second of the game. It will be T-Bird ball still. Dunkley guarded there by Dollowell. He finds Moore. Moore is guarded by Kim. Coming off the screen there, that's Bartlett. Bartlett, nice move there. Off the front of the rim. Mia gets a touch on the rebound. A loose ball there. I think Mia got, a hand, an, uh, yeah. Mia got an errant hand in the face there. So referee's just checking Mikhail Mia. Caught him right, uh, I think right off the face or the bridge of his nose maybe. Yeah, I think he's walking it off. Yeah, it makes Looks you want to okay. tear up kind of when you get yeah. hit in that spot. So it will say T-Bird ball, inbounded there on the side. It's Dunkley with the ball. And I think we're going to have an offensive screen called. Yeah, that foul is going to go into number 11 of the T-Birds. That's going to be Carson Bartlett. It's going to be his third. It's going to be the first of the third quarter for the T-Birds. So it was an offensive. It was a moving screen foul there. It's going to be Ali Dollawal in the backcourt to bring up the ball. Tipped out there by Dunkley. We did have a tough time inbounding the ball in the first half as well. So we're going to look and change it again there. Yeah, get uh, a little more height on our inbounders and uh, get the ball in the hands of our guards. So it's Ali waving Kim through. Ali with the handoff there to Mia. Mia finds Brown out to the top of the key. Brown, one pass over there to Dalawal. Dalawal dribbles back to the top. He finds Brown and the travel call again. So the referees have been tight on that one tonight, Muskan. They've been calling the travel consistently on both sides if that ball doesn't hit the ground before their foot leaves the floor. Yeah, I completely agree. I've been watching the commentation on the last uh, two quarters, and I've noticed that. All right, it is Dunkley was guarded by Dalwell there. Now we've got at the top of the key that was going to be Froberg. They're looking underneath there, trying to find more, and I think it went off, I guess. So off a T-Bird foot there, and it will be Legends Vault. So it's going to be Kim to inbound. He's got Ali and Dalwell both in the backcourt here. Clock him, clock him, clock him. Dalwell guarded there. Tightly by Nyangabo with the handoff there to Brown. Dalawal laying no call there. It's going to stay Legends ball as it's checked out. Good try there by Dalawal. So we're going to have a reset there. No rim on that shot attempt by the Legends. So 14 on the shot clock. Ali finds Mia. Mia again having to tiptoe on that sideline there. Good job staying in bounds. Eight seconds on the shot clock for the Legends to shoot. Kim sets a screen for Mia as he drives to the middle, takes eight guys with him, even though there's only five on the other team. And Mia gets the bucket to go. That gives Mia double digits on the game with 10. That kick out to the top of the key, the three-point attempt there by Froberg, rebounded there by Kim. 
Mia to bring the ball up. Headman's it to Brown, oh. but he wasn't looking. It was a yeah. good, good look by Mia, yeah. but Brown didn't turn around and see it. Good hustle by Brown getting down the court, and Mia wanted to reward him with that headman ball there. All right, it is Dunkley bringing up the ball for the T-Birds. Guarded there again by Dalawal. He finds Froberg at the top of the key. Goes back to Nyungabo off the screen. Back to Dunkley. Dunkley with the three-point attempt, and that one's good. Three there for Dunkley. That's his third three of the game tonight. He's got nine for the T-Birds. It is a two-point legend lead, 35-33, as Ali brings it up, goes to the hoop. He's looking to find Mia. Knocked away there by the T-Birds. Dunkley looking to push the floor. Gather there as he had some pressure on defensively from Dalawal. Good hand there by Mia. Good touch there. Checked out. Good hustle. Dunkley trying to keep it in. It will go out of bounds, though, off the T-Birds, and it will be Legends Ball. Checking back into the game for the Legends, number seven, Jack Berry. He's going to give Ali a break. Barry calling for some help here. We've had, some, again, some, a little bit of issues of getting the ball inbounded with some hands from the T-Birds. So, yeah, again, the struggling there on the inbounds for the Legends. We don't want to turn that one over there. The answering back, the, uh, they're rewarded with their defensive effort there as the top Thunderbirds as Dunkley hits another three. That gives him four threes and 12 points as he is the leading scorer for the T-Birds. Travel called against Mia as he goes to the hoop there. So T-Birds now out to a one-point lead off those double back-to-back -back threes by Dunkley. Dunkley to bring the ball up once again, guarded by Dalawal. Finds Nyangabo. Nyangabo underneath there, and that was Bartlett. Good hand there by Mia as he blocks Bartlett. And she goes other way, finds Barry. Barry kicks out to Dalawal. Dalawal for three, in and out, and not rewarded by the hometown rim bounce on that one for Taryn Dalawal. Brought up the floor there again. That's Bartlett. Back to Dunkley. Dunkley outside to Froberg. Froberg's three is just off. Good hustle. Tough work underneath there by Kim. T-Birds come away with it though. Dunkley, good, good guard there by, good defense there, sorry, by Taryn Dalawal. Good rebound underneath there by Moore. Can't get it to go. Had a tough position under the hoop. Barry bringing up the floor, ball up the floor. Hand off there to Dalawal. Dalawal, some movement there with Brown. Brown back to Barry. Barry, as he drives in the middle, nice little move there. Jack Barry, it's nice to see those fall tonight for Jack. Jack's got 12 on the night so far. That's going to be Dunkley bringing the ball up again. Dunkley over to Froberg. Froberg down to Nyongabo. Nyongabo back into Dunkley underneath. Good defense there by Dalawal and Mia. Kim there, tough defense on Moore. But it looks like we have three in the key violation going against Moore. And we have some subs coming into the game for the T-Birds. That's going to be number nine, Trap checking back in, as well as 15, Bellrose, and number seven, Vanderpoy. On the floor for the legend still, Barry, Dollawall, Brown, Kim, and Mia. Staying on the floor for the T-Birds is Dunkley and Bartlett. All right, that's Taryn Dollawall to bring the ball up. Finds Mia. That handoff there, back to Dalawal, back to Mia. Mia looking to drive. Nice move there. Mia can't get it. That goes off the back of the room. Great rebound there by Kim. And I think we're going to have a foul call from behind against 15 of the T-Birds. That's Dale Belrose. That's his first. That's the T-Birds' second of the quarter. It's going to be Legends Ball. Barry finds Mia off the inbound, and Mia gets a bucket to go. Coach Kedry will be happy with how we drew that play up in practice. They executed it pretty well there. Dunkley bringing the ball up. Finds Vanderpoy. Vanderpoy at the top there for Trap. Dunkley kicks it out over there once again to Bartlett. Bartlett inside to Bellrose. Good hand there by Kim. Good push there. Barry with him speed and goes right to the hoop and he's fouled on his way up. So Jack Barry will head to the line to shoot. That foul is going to go against number two. That's going to go against Kai Dunkley. It's going to be his first. It'll be the third for the T-Birds as Barry heads to the line to shoot two. So I believe it's the first free throws of the quarter. Yeah, I think so. Barry is good on the first. That gives Barry 13 right now on the game. Jack Barry gets the roll there, and he's good. Two for two for Jack Barry. 41-36, Legends lead. 
five point lead. I think that's their biggest lead of the game thus far. That's Dunkley guarded again tightly by Dollawall. Kim's got a hand there on Bell Rose. Bell Rose. We're going to get a foul call there against Kim. That is going to go against Matt Kim. That's going to be Matt's third. It'll be the second of the quarter for the Legends. Cy Fisher checking in to give Kim a break. Bell Rose will head to the line to shoot two. Bellrose is good for the first. It's great to see such a good crowd tonight in our gym, Muskan. Yeah, I like all the enthusiasm. A lot of cheering has going on, been going on like in the first two quarters, and a bunch of new people just arrived. Thought that might have touched the shot clock up on top of the backboard, but the refs didn't see it that way, so no call there. It was a live rebound by Fisher. Barry finds Mia. Mia outside for three off the back of the rim there. Good hustle on the rebound boards there. Fisher corralled there by Barry. Finds Brown. Brown goes to drive baseline, and I believe he's fouled. Unless they're going to call that he stepped out. I'm not sure. Okay, so they are calling a foul there against number seven of the T-Birds. That's Vanderpoy. That's going to be his first. It's going to be the T-Birds' fourth of the quarter. And I believe we've got a timeout call. Timeout called Legends. So far, we've seen some great defense by the T-Birds there. Um, they're really getting in on those inbounds, like you said earlier, um, blocking them and making sure that Osborne doesn't get a chance to keep on going and pushing up. Uh, but Osborne has been trying uh, to drive that ball um, into the net there, which is also really great to see. Yeah, you're right. Uh, like I said, I think um, that that'll be probably something that Coach Kedry is talking about with the Legends during the timeout, is that uh, making sure that they are finding open men, trying to get that inbounds play. But again, he might change up who is the inbounder just to get a little more height on that uh, play with the T-Birds getting a hand on it. Yeah, I completely agree, and especially with um, the T-Birds there trying to intercept those uh, passes as well. It's hard for Osborne to keep track of them. Track of them. But you know what? Again, it's a four-point legend lead, so 41-37. Yeah. We have three and a half minutes left to go in the third quarter here. We knew this would be a tight one. Again, these, there's four teams right now in our pool and four on the other side that are all vying for a spot in Division One. So there's a maximum of 12 teams that can play Div One basketball. And uh, there are currently, I believe, 16 that uh, would like a spot. So the top two in our pool and the top two in the other pool will make Div 1 for the season. So tonight we are hosting Shep. Monday night we host J. Percy Page. And on we Tuesday next week, sorry, we would travel to SPA, so St. Peter Apostle, out in Spruce Grove to see, uh, again, who earns those two spots. So back in play here. That was checked out by the T-Birds. It will stay Legends ball. Le Francois to inbound. The Francois goes cross court and Dunkley able to get a hand on that ball. Le Francois was looking for Barry, but Dunkley picks that one off. That at the top of the key there, that's Trap. Looks inside for Bell Rose. Nice finish there by Bell Rose with the bucket for the T Birds. We got some full court pressure here coming out of that timeout from the T Birds. Le Francois drives, kicks it out to Barry. Barry for three. Yes, Jack Barry. Barry's third three of the game. It's nice to see him finding his rhythm. Dunkley to bring the ball up. He's guarded by Mia. Legends look like they've switched into a 1-3-1 zone defense. Again, coming out of the timeout. Both coaches changing things up a little bit. Good hands there by Barry Mia. T-Birds kicking that ball around. That's Vanderpoy in the corner. He goes cross court for Dunkley with two on the shot clock. Gets it off, but misses that one off the front of the rim, and LeFrancois brings down the rebound. He finds Barry. Barry bringing the ball up the floor. Back to LeFrancois. That handoff again at the top of the key to Dalawal. Dalawal going against Dunkley there. Outside for Jack Barry, just off the rim there. Rebounded by Dunkley, and then just a loose ball. Unlucky foul there. That's going to go against number 13, Cy Fisher. That'll be Fisher's first, and it'll be the Legends' third of the quarter. It's going to be over on the side, trap to inbound. M, is that three team fouls for us, M? M? We have Dunkley over here going up the court. Guarded by Mian. 
Pass over to Bartlett. Off the front of the rim there, rebounded by LaFrancois. Off to Dollywall, trying to find that opening, driving in, Fisher. We're gonna have a loose ball foul there. I think it's gonna go against the T-Birds though. Just double check, but I'm pretty sure it is gonna go against number seven. It's gonna go against Vanderpool. It's gonna be his second. It's gonna be bonus now for the T-Birds. So, uh, sorry, Legends shooting bonus as it is five team fouls against the T-Birds. Yeah, five. Just the rest yeah, over here uh, handing off some information on at the score table here. Right, Natasha? Oh, Natasha? Figuring out what's going on here. Miss Gunn, I'm going to leave you in charge here just a sec here. Sounds good. Right now, the score is 44-39 uh, to 39 with the Legends in the lead. We still have two minutes left of the third quarter here. And just making sure that some of the scores are right here. We have Fisher on the line. And he makes that one. Let's see about the second one here. And that one's good as well. We have Bartlett who passes it to Dunkley going up the court. Over, passing it back to trap, handing it back to Dunkley. Looking for that shot. Mian intercepts that one. Going up the court there, and that was trap coming out of nowhere, grabbing that ball back to Dunkley, finding an opening to trap. Dunkley taken by LeFrancois over to Barry, pushing it up the court. And didn't see what was called on that one. I think, yeah, that was a personal foul on 13, I believe, on um, Legends. And that's a timeout called. So far, um, so I believe the Legends did get a few more points on the la few last few um, minutes there. Still have a minute 37 left of the third quarter. Just making sure, uh, Miss Miss Grable is just making sure that um, some of the information is adding up on uh, at the score table. And just, just about to join us again. Um, hopefully everything's cleared up now. We are good, yeah, we just wanted to confirm that the score sheet uh, had correct team fouls so that we were right that uh, it was a shooting uh, bonus situation, that last uh, free throw that sent Cy Fisher to the line. I believe he hit both, correct? Yes, yes he did. And timeout on that one was called by the T-Birds, I think, right? Um, I think so, after like a foul was called on the Legends. Uh, who did they call that last foul one for? Uh, Cy Fisher. I, yep. You got it. I got to keep track on three different places. All right, we got just over 90, so 97 seconds to go here in the third quarter. 46-39 Legends. Barry Dollowall, LaFrancois, Mia, and Fisher on the floor for the Legends. Dunkley, Vander, or sorry, Dunkley, Nyongabo, Trap, Bellrose, and Bartlett on the floor for the T-Birds. Good fight in the side there. And uh, and one a possibility there for Bellrose. He gets the bucket to go. That foul is going to go against Cy Fisher. It's going to be his third. It's going to be the Legends' fifth. It would be bonus, but he is going to shoot the and one situation regardless. Checking into the game for his first action is number 10, Dennis Volberg of the Legends. It's going to be Bellrose to shoot one from the line, trying to complete the three-point play. And he gets it to go. That pulls the T-Birds within four. Dalawal to bring the ball up. He's guarded there pretty tightly there by Nyongabo. Good ball handling there by Dalawal. Goes inside. He's looking. A little miscommunication there between Dalawal and Barry. And it's going to result in a T Bird ball. So preset. So. 
And it's going to be Nyangabo to inbounds. And we have subs checking back in. Muhammad Ali back into the game for the Legends. Dunkley bringing the ball up. Guarded by Barry there. Looking inside. That's Bartlett for Bellrose. Nice reverse lay in there for Bellrose. Using his size against the Legends there. One minute to go. Tiber's bringing it to within a two-point game. Barry finds Ali. Ali looks for Mia, slips out of his hands, and that's going to be Bartlett going the other way. Nice block there by Mikhail, Mia. And we're going to have a foul call. See what they're going. That foul's going to go against number 11. That's going to go against Bartlett. It's going to be his fourth. You guys know that's four, right? And it's going to send Volberg to the line to shoot bonus. We have subs checking in for the T-Birds. That's going to be number 12, Froberg, coming back onto the floor. It's going to be Volberg shooting the bonus free throws at the other line for the Legends. Volberg gets the bank on the first one. Second free throw here. Got some rebounders coming in to fill the spots in the lane. Rebounded there by Bellrose. 40 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Dunkley left alone at the top. We don't want to do that after he's hit four threes tonight. Rebounded there by LaFrancois. LaFrancois kicks outside to Ali. Ali going over to LaFrancois. LaFrancois looking to take Nyongabo to the hoop. LaFrancois off the rim. Nyongabo pushes the other way. Mia's the only one back. Great defense there by Mia, buying some time for the legend defenders to get back. Got some good ball movement there by the T-Birds, and the third corner three is good by Froberg. And we're gonna have the end of the third quarter. That three ties it up at 47. So a two minute break and then last 10 minutes to go, Muscan. We're in for an exciting finish here. Yeah, I do believe so. It's a tie game, as you said, I think. Um, uh, so far, the defense has been crazy on both sides, um, especially with the last few mi minutes there, um, with only Mian at the front of the court defending the legend side, making sure that they had those extra few minutes, and which really helped, I think. Um, but then that side three really got them there. Yeah, it was good ball movement by the T-Birds there and the dagger three from the corner. Um, you know, like I said, it's uh, tough when you play good defense and they put that one up from outside, so... It, uh, again, we've got our leading scores right now for the Legends. I believe it's Jack Berry with 15. Three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 for Jack Berry. He's the leading scorer for the Legends. And I believe with his four threes, it's gonna be Kai Dunkley. He's leading the way for the T-Birds. Yeah, we've seen some great play by Dunkley on um, the T-Bird side here with those threes. And just um, starting off this fourth quarter here, uh, back on the court, we have Barry, LaFrancois, Mian, Volberg, and... Ali on the legend side with Bell Rose and Froberg, Dunkley, and Nyongabo was guarding the that free um, the inbounds. The inbound there. You got it. So it is legend's possession to start the fourth quarter. Ali looking to go to the cross there with Mikhail Mia. Mia goes cross court there for LaFrancois. LaFrancois at the top. Barry with a deep three. Doesn't get that one to go. Rebounded there by Trap, pushed up the floor as by himself and then uh, finds Dunkley. That's gonna be Nyongabo uh, back at the top there to Trap. Trap looks to drive, he draws a lot of legend defenders, he kicks it out to Nyongabo and he gets the three to go. That puts the T-Birds up three for the first time in uh, about a quarter or so I think. Legends held a little bit of a lead since the half. Might be the T-Birds first lead this quarter, or this half. That's gonna be Ali, finds Mia at the top. Mia draws three guys, tries to kick out to Barry, but the T-Birds read that one and Trap with the steal. He goes coast to coast and finishes it with the bucket. Ali settling things down on the legend side. 
It's amazing how quickly momentum can switch in a game like that one. A couple of quick buckets by the T-Birds and they've got a little bit of a roll here. That's LeFrancois at the top of the key. He's guarded there by Dunkley. He finds Mia. Mia with a pullback fadeaway. Can't get it to fall. Good rebound underneath there by Volberg. Kicks it out to Barry. Barry's three goes in and out. Again, another nice offensive board there by LeFrancois. LeFrancois up to the top of the key for Mia. Mia looking to drive. Kick out to Barry. Same thing there. Barry find, looks to find Volberg underneath. Can't quite connect there. Bellrose comes away with it. Able to maintain possession there beside a, despite the little spill. Kai Dunkley uh, kicks outside. That's Froberg. Froberg's three is off. Good rebound there by Ali as he controls it. Looks to push the floor. Ali running the point there. Drives the middle. He has it stripped, but I think we're going to have a foul call. So it's going to be Legends Ball. That foul is going to go against number eight. No, sorry, not number eight. Number nine. And Natasha, who they call the foul on? Who they call the foul on? Nine. And that was Trap with the foul. You got it. That's going to be Trap's third. It'll be the first of the quarter for the T-Birds. Ali trying to, good defense there by the T-Birds on that inbounds again. Ali finds Dalawal. Dalawal back to Ali. Ali guarded there by Nyangabo. They got five on the shot clock. They got to get something here. And Ali's got to look for someone. Ali can't get it to hit rim. It's going to be a shot clock violation. T-Bird ball pushed up the floor by Dunkley. Dunkley kicks outside. That's trap for three off the front of the rim. Rebounded there by Taryn Dalawal. Dalawal pushing the floor. Dalawal looks to drive, looks inside, but he is fouled. I think they're going to call him on his way up there. So that foul is going against number 15. That's going to go against Dale Belrose. That's going to be buzz for subs. That's going to be his second. It's going to be the T-Birds second of the quarter. Checking back in for those T-Birds is Vanderpoy. And it's going to be Taryn Dalawal headed to the line to shoot two. I don't know if Dalawal's been to the line yet tonight. I don't think so. Uh, yeah. Oh, I lied. He has. He hit one earlier tonight. So I think he went one for two from the line earlier tonight. Hits the first there. First bucket there, I believe, of the quarter for the Legends. Dalawal goes one for two. Great hustle inside there by Volberg. Unfortunately, tipped out of bounds. Will be T-Bird ball. Brought off the floor again by Dunkley once again. Tightly guarded there by Dalawal. That screen there by Belrose. Dalawal cuts underneath. No problems there. Strip there. Ali strips um, Nyangabo, and Ali pushes the floor. Waits for some supporting cast. He's guarded there by Vanderpoy. Hands out to Dalawal. Dalawal for the three. Not sure if there was a contact there. Good defense again. Once again, Mia back as one of the sole legend defenders to get a hand on the defense. Or sorry, get a hand on that pass there played defensively. All right, it's going to be, I believe it's going to be T-Bird ball. Brown to guard the inbounds here as it is inbounded there by Vanderpoy. Good touch there by Brown. The, the T-Birds keep maintain possession there. That's over to the other far side to Froberg. Froberg back to the top to Dunkley. Screen there by Bellrose. Dunkley kicks outside to Froberg. Froberg's corner three. That one again from that corner three. Froberg gets it to drop. We have six and a half to go here. Dalawal comes up with the loose ball scramble there. It was checked out, but it was touched last, sorry, last touch there by the T-Birds. It will be Legends ball. Brown to, uh, Ali's gonna be the inbounder here. Ali finds Mia. Mia looking to drive. Get, Belrose gets a hand in his face and it's gonna be a foul, I believe, on Belrose. That foul does go against number 15. That's gonna be his third. It's gonna be the third team foul for the T-Birds of the quarter. It's gonna send Mia to the line to shoot two. Checking back into the game for the T-Birds is Moore. It's gonna give Belrose a quick break there.
Good free throw there by Mia, taking his time. Mia goes two for two, those two big buckets to bring it back to a five point game. Had a swing here in this last bit. It was a legend five point lead at one point beginning of this quarter and the T-Birds have come out flying. Excuse the pun. <laughs> yeah. All right, inside there, that's Moore. Number 10 against number 10 and Moore wins the battle there as he gets the bucket to go over Volberg. Muhammad Ali guarded there by Vanderpoy. Finds Brown. Brown back to Ali. Ali looks to drive. Got a little handoff there. Travel goes against the, or sorry, travel there against the Legends. Subs checking back in for our Legends. That's going to be Matt Kim and Michael LaFrancois checking back in. It'll be T Bird Ball on the side. We have about six more minutes left of the fourth quarter here. So let's see how the Legends and the T-Birds do in this last few minutes. Yeah, definitely crunch time here. Legends need a stop here in a bucket to kind of keep it within range here as we run out of time. Good block there. Good rotation there on the defense. Got some hands. Mia forces the cross-court pass. Ali gets a hand on it, but a rebound Underneath there by Moore. Good fight there by Kim. Kim draws the jump ball. Possession's gonna go, just confirming here. Referee's talking it out with some players. I believe it's, and we got some subs coming in. Subs checking in for the T-Birds. We've got, that's number nine, Trap checking back in. All right, I believe it's gonna be T-Bird possession off the jump. It'll be Dunkley to inbound. They've had a couple nice inbounds plays earlier on tonight that resulted in some easy buckets, so let's see if they can pull one off here. Wide open look there for Trapp, and he hits the three. Again, those inbounds plays working very well for the Shep Thunderbirds. All right, Ali to bring the ball up the floor. Looking for a screen there from Kim. Finds Mia. Mia outside to LaFrancois. LaFrancois, nice baseline drive, good hang time there. Just off the backboard. I think we're gonna have a over the back call. That foul's gonna go against number nine. It's gonna be Matt Kim. It's gonna be Kim's fourth. It'll be the first of the legends this quarter. And we have a timeout called by the Shep T-Birds. In the last five minutes here, um, in the first five minutes of the quarter, we've seen a lot of off uh, defense done by the T-Birds trying to keep those points up. They're in a 10 point um, deficit right now. Um, hoping to probably keep that 10 points up after this, um, uh, sorry, this timeout. And maybe the Legends are trying to keep this timeout to break the T-Birds rhythm that they've had, um, that they've gained after this, like about the half of the third quarter that they started gaining all these points. So let's see how they do in the last five minutes of the quarter. What do you think, uh, Ms. Griebel? Yeah, I think, like I said, I think they're going to have to dig deep right now. A 10-point lead, it's not insurmountable by any means, but with only five minutes to go in the quarter, Legends are definitely going to have to stop that three ball um, outside shooting of the T-Birds right now. It's uh, a little bit of a dagger when you work so hard on defense and they pull out the three to finish off the possession. But uh, yeah, I mean, definitely it's still within re reach. Coach Kedry going to try and keep the uh, morale up on the Legends bench. We've got some good uh, support from some of the other guys that uh, haven't been on the floor yet tonight, but uh, definitely supportive of their teammates. We've got LaFrancois, Dalawal, Ali, Mia, and Kim on the floor for the Legends. And for the T-Birds, it's going to be Nyongabo, Moore, Dunkley, Trap. And who am I missing? Froberg, I believe. Yep. yep. All right, it's Nyongabo inbounds to Dunkley. Right back to Nyongabo. We got some, a little more pressure here from the Legends defense, wanting to force the issue here. That's another corner three. That one by Froberg misses. Rebound there by LaFrancois. That's big. Here we go, Ali to bring the ball up. 
Ali guarded there by Trapp. Ali finds Mia. Mia looking to go to the rim. He does. Kim pulls it away. There's seven seconds on the shot clock as that didn't hit the rim. LaFrancois looking for that pass inside to Kim. Just a little low for Mac. And it will be T-Bird ball. It's going to be Nyongabo to inbound. Nyongabo, him and Dunkley in the backcourt here looking to break the pressure put on by your legends. Dunkley, that goes over to Trap. Trap guarded atop by Kim, Nyongabo. T-Bird's wanting to use as much of the shot clock as they can as time is in their favor at the moment. Nyongabo outside to Dunkley. One on the shot clock, Dunkley off balance. Shot clock, buzzer goes, but live ball called. Must have touched the rim there. Good fight there by the T-Birds to maintain possession. We're killing a lot of time off the clock here, which is not working in our favor. That's going to be Trap at the top. Over to Nyangabo. Nyangabo inside to Dunkley. Mia with a hand there. That's going to be Nyangabo driving off the front of the rim. Mia with a rebound. We've got three and a half to go here. It's still that 10-point T-Bird lead. Ali with the ball. Goes to LaFrancois. Right back to Ali. Ali looking to use the Kim screen. Ali back to LaFrancois. They have six on the shot clock. Got to look to score here. LaFrancois looking to go himself. And I believe LaFrancois fouled on his way. Wait for the official call here. That foul is going against number two. That's going to go against Kai Dunkley. It's going to be his second. It's going to be the fourth team foul against the T-Birds. A few more subs coming in for T-Birds here. Yeah, uh, that's Belrose, and I believe that's uh, Bartlett. Yeah, it's going to be LaFrancois to shoot. He's heading to the line to shoot two. We've got a gigantic Emmy Lazert junior men's team walking in the gym here. It looks like there's about 45 players there, Muskan. Yeah. All right, LaFrancois. Little Francois goes one for two from the line. Again, Legends putting on some pressure. Jack Berry back into the game for the Legends. Berry and Dalawal putting some pressure on. Mia intercepts that one. Great job there by Mikhail. Again, defensively, Mia's been strong tonight. Berry with the ball. Goes cross court Ooh. over the head of Taryn Dalawal. It's going to be... Subs checking back in for the T-Birds. That's going to be Trap checking back in. And it will be Nyongabo to inbound here. Again, Legends putting on that full court pressure. And just under three minutes to go here in the half. It is a nine point lead for the T-Birds. Three possession game if the Legends can hit a couple threes there. All right, it is Dunkley guarded by Barry. Dunkley looking for someone as he finds Trap at the top. Trap to Nyongabo. Nyongabo drives on Mia. And a travel call there goes against Nyongabo. Same call that they've been making all night. Going to be Legends to inbound. It's going to be Kim to inbound the ball. Dalawal in the backcourt. Dalawal. Guarded there by Trap. Good screen there by Kim. Dalawal looks to drive, and Dalawal's fouled. No basket. They're going to call it on the ground prior to, but it will shoot bonus. That foul is going to go to number 15, Dale Belrose. That's going to be his fourth, and it's going to be the team's fifth. So they will shoot bonus the rest of the way. It's going to be Dalawal at the line to shoot. He's hit two free throws earlier tonight, so I believe he's two for four from the line. He's checking back into the game for the T-Birds. That's Moore. All right, these are a couple big free throws here for Dalawal. It's nice to score when the clock is stopped when you're down, so hopefully we can take advantage of it here. Yeah. Dalawal does take advantage of the first. M, if he makes it, buzz for subs. And does not make the second, so it will be T-Bird ball off the live rebound. That's going to be... 
trap. Inns looking inside there for Moore. Guarded tightly by the Legends. Out to Dunkley. Dunkley over to Nyongabo. Nyongabo looks inside and he's able to find Moore for the bucket. Mia outside to Barry. Barry is fouled as he was going to look to shoot, but he's going to get to line to shoot two. Natasha, who'd they call that on? Natasha? We still have that 10 point that deficit here. And that's his third, right, Natasha? Going in with less than two minutes left of the quarter. That foul goes against number two. That's going to be Kai Dunkley. That's going to be Dunkley's third of the game. Barry at the line to shoot, misses the first. Barry misses both. Fight there for Barry to go for the rebound. I believe he's fouled. He's going to head back to the line. That foul is going to go against number seven. That's going to be Vanderpoy with his third. It's going to send Barry back to the line to shoot two more. All right, uh, talking things over. Barry's going to head back to the line. They did call that loose ball foul there on the rebound against Vanderpoy. Barry has that rim in and out. Here we go, Jack. We got this one. All right, Barry again to shoot from the line. Barry, unlucky rolls. This doesn't usually happen to Jack. Here we go. Legends are going to have to play tough defense here. It's still a 10 point game. Under two to go. Legends are going to work hard right to the whistle, regardless of the score. That's going to be a three attempt there by Nyongabo, rebounded by the Legends. Pushed to the floor. That's Ali, finds Mia. Legends got to look to score quickly here. They don't have time on their side. Nice spin there by Mia. Can't get the bucket to go. And it's going to be checked out of bounds by the Legends. Last touch by Legends will be T Bird ball. Nyongabo to inbound. Inbound there to Dunkley. That's Dunkley, guarded by Mia. Dunkley finds Nyongabo. Guarded there by Barry. Oh, down to the corner to Vanderpoy. Vanderpoy back to Nyongabo. Over to Dunkley. Dunkley looks to pull up for the three, but he kicks it over to an open Nyongabo for three. That's a big shot there. Makes it a 13 point deficit for the Legends. One minute to go here in this game. Dalawal with a nice lay in as he goes to the rim. Make sure you stop the clock after made baskets. It's okay, it's okay. So just put back on whatever he wants. And we have timeout called by the T Bird. Just one sec, Musk, and I'm going to leave this to you for a second. Right now the score is 54 to 65 with the T-Birds in the lead here with only 54 seconds left on the clock. Let's see how the Legends um, play in this last few uh, seconds here, especially with um, they're keeping up that um, the e their efforts right now because their defense has been strong this whole time, not giving it up, trying to make sure that the uh, T-Birds don't sc score any more points here. Um, T-Birds are still coming in strong with that offense. Um, as you just, we just saw Nyang sorry, uh, Nyangabo got that three in that last few seconds, um, which gave them that 13 point deficit, keeping them in the lead, making it um, harder for the Legends to keep that close score here. Legends are still keeping their spirits high here. Let's see how the last few seconds go with Barry, Mia, and um, Ali, Dhaliwal, and Kim on the court. All right, it's going to be T-Bird ball as they advance it. So when you call a timeout in that last minute, you can advance the ball to the second, sorry, to the front court. It does take 10 seconds off your shot clock. So you'll get a 14 second shot clock. So Legends defense needs a stop here. That's going to be Dunkley at the top. We're going to have a foul underneath here, so I'm not sure what, uh, I believe it's going to be Mo Ali. That foul is going to go against Ali. It's going to be his third. It's only the team's second, so it does not stop the clock by sending the T-Birds to the free throw line. It will be T-Birds to inbound again. That's going to be Trap inbounding the ball. 
Trap finds Dunkley. They're going to call Dollawall on the foul there. Legends trying to stop the clock here and hope to get possession back, but because they didn't have too many fouls earlier in the quarter, it's going to take them a couple more before they can send the T-Birds to the line. Vanderpool there, yeah, again Ali with the foul. So what the Legends are trying to do is trying to send the T-Birds to the free throw line to force them to shoot so that they can't kill all the time. So it's going to be a baseline inbound here, I believe. And the T-Birds, sorry, uh, T-Birds to inbound. Legends will likely foul right as quickly as they can. Dunkley's going to be the inbounder here. Unless the Legends can get a steal off the inbounds, they will look to foul, I believe, right away. Mia with the foul. So that is going to send Dunkley to the line. They're going to shoot bonus now. So that's what the Legends were trying to do. They were trying to get... T-Birds to the free throw line so that they had to stop, the, so that would stop the clock and it would give lead. And the first one is good there for Dunkley. Buzz the horn if he makes the second one for subs, okay? If he makes it. All right, here we go. Dunkley again to the line. He goes one for two. Mia with a rebound. Mia headmounds it to Ali. Ali, the catch and shoot three off the front of the room. Great board there by Mia. And we got subs checking in off that bucket there for Mia. The clock does stop on any made baskets. That's checking back in is Bell Rose as well as Froberg for the T-Birds. Timeout called T-Birds. They're going to use their last timeout here. And it will be, they, they all decide coming out. So T-Birds are going to inbound on the baseline, which means it'll be the full 24 second shot clock. There will be a 14 second differential shot clock to game clock. So Legends are going to need to try and get a steal here, I think, off the inbounds and a quick bucket. Uh, they might look for some threes. So yeah. we're going to have, a, I'm going to guess a lot of our shooters will be on the floor. So my guess will probably be Jack Berry will be out there. Likely Mo Ali. I'm not sure if Dalawal will be out there too, but uh, they definitely need the outside shot here. Yeah, in the last little uh, bit, me and uh, pass that ball over to Ali, trying to get that corner three. Um, so hopefully we see more of those in the last few seconds. Yeah, so Legends are going to put on some tough pressure here. They need, like I said, they need a steal, or it'd be nice if they could get a five-second count and uh, inhibit the uh, T-Birds from inbounding the ball here. Yeah. Coach Dunkley and Young's here running uh, an inbounds play. Like I said, they've had some pretty successful inbounds plays already tonight, so Legends are going to dig deep here for a defensive stop. Again, we have a 14 shot clock, game clock differential. It is a 10 point T-Bird lead. So it is a four possession game for the Legends. All right, Kim to guard the inbounder. Inbound, gets it into Dunkley. They're gonna send him to the free throw line to shoot. So Barry with the foul in. It's gonna send Dunkley back to the line. So Legends hoping here. Again, that Dunkley doesn't hit both and that they get a chance for the ball here. So they're going to send Barry and Ali deep. Dunkley hits the first. That gives 14 for Dunkley so far on the game. Dunkley misses it but gets his own rebound. Dalo all once again at the foul, gonna send Dunkley what back to the line again. 31 seconds on the game clock. Checking back in for the T-Birds. That's gonna be Moore and Vanderpoy. And it's gonna be Dunkley at the line to shoot again. All right, here we go. It's Dunkley back to the line. And he's good on the first. All right, Dunkley looking to go two for two from the line. And he does. So Legends, Mia bringing the ball up, finds Barry. Nice move there by Barry. Finds an open Mia for three, and it's good. The clock didn't stop. And we're going to call a foul. Em, you've got to stop the clock on this basket. Em, you have to be stopping the clock. It's big, right? In a game like this, it's big. 
still at a 10 point deficit here. And we're going to put. All right, 23 on the clock. It's Dunkley back to the line to shoot the free throws. Dunkley good on the second. Dalawal finds Mia. Mia headmans it, looking for Ali. Ali keeps it in bounds. Check defense of this deal there, and Mia's gonna get a foul call over the back there. He's trying to go for that possession there. Goes over Vanderpoy. That's gonna send Vanderpoy to the line to shoot. This is where the last minute of the game, Muscan, takes four hours. Yeah. Timeouts and free throws and Legends doing everything they can though, trying to stay in this one. Vanderpoy makes the first. Legends again will be looking for a quick inbound and a three. We're gonna have lane violation against Mia, so Vanderpoy will get a chance to sh Nope. I guess they're calling it both ways, I guess. <laughs> both Nyongabo and Mia stepped in the lane on that one. We're gonna have a timeout, Legends. Only 14 seconds left of the game here with uh, the T-Birds in the lead with 71, Legends with 59, keeping uh, the game going with uh, those uh, in, sorry, what were they called? What are you talking about, free throws? No, uh, I don't know. Sorry, I wasn't <laughs> sure where you were going. No, that it's okay. Process. That's it's all okay. good. Yeah, but yeah, Legends calling a timeout. And you know what? Regardless of the score, it's a good opportunity for the Legends to put in some type of play here. It might come in handy possibly Monday or Tuesday next week or later down the season when, you know, maybe it's a two-point game as opposed to a 12-point game. And it's good experience for the boys, right? Uh, I think this game really helped them see the competition here and with roster up. Yeah, for sure. And again, like I said, big game for the Legends on Monday again. We'll be hosting J. Percy Page yep. and uh, heading out to SPA. And regular season games begin the week of December 12th. So we will have uh, lots of game action. Don't have a schedule out yet as we are waiting for all of the ability round results. So everyone's going to have to be patient. And once the ability rounds are done, they'll get a schedule out to us. Uh, Ma Miracle Man Sean Shepard at Metro Athletics will probably have a schedule out to us in a day, which is impressive considering how many games he's going to have to put there. Three seconds left on the game clock. Barry looks to drive, kicks it outside to Kim, and that's the buzzer. It'll be a T-Bird win, 71-59 for the Shep T-Birds in the first game of this ability round. Muskan, any closing comments here? Yeah, I just wanted to say that was a really tight game and both teams played uh, great with all their defense and offense on both sides, keeping it tight in the beginning of the game. So I hope everyone loved watching it as much as we did. Quick shout out to the Parent Association for making this broadcast possible. Also a shout out to Mr. Ogrodiak and Mr. Zhang for making game day possible along with Abby O, Rena L, Ava A, Alex L, Brady H, Tracy L, <laughs> Mohammed H, Nafiza H, and Miss Grable for helping out today. Our new broadcast um, is on Monday, December the 5th. Once again, I'm Miss Khan, and this is Miss Grable. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, and click that bell icon. And just remember, be, be legendary. legendary.